Well, I'm doing homework next, and today we're going to be doing a CAP contest 2008 part C problem one. So the problem is a step ladder of negligible weight is constructed as shown in the figure. So here, and a painter of mass 70 kilograms stands on the ladder three meters from the bottom. And assuming the flow is frictionless, we want to find the tension in the horizontal bar connecting the two halves of the ladder, the normal force at A and B, and the components of the reaction force at a single hinge C that the left half of the ladder exerts on the right half. So what you want to do first is draw a free body diagram of these two hinges. So for the left one, just draw a line and see. At the bottom, there's going to be a force up, normal force. And at the midpoint, there's going to be tension force inwards. Also, where the person is standing, there's going to be weight down, so mg. And then here, draw the right one. So as well, this is going to be normal force. And it's going to be tension this way. Now if you look at this, this person is standing here, right? So this part will be heavier. So she'll be exerting a force on the right hinge. So there will be a force acting upwards. Let's just call it Ry. And the force acting this way. Call it Rx. So from Newton's third law, we know on this ladder then, the force will be acting downwards, Ry, force acting this way, Rx. Now we know since the ladder isn't moving, the net force acting on the ladder must add up to zero and also the torque must add up to zero. So let's just write the net force equations for the left side. So we know for the left side, the sigma fx is just going to be equal to tension minus rx and it's equal to zero and for the in the y direction it's going to be equal to ry minus mg up down plus na is going to be equal to zero now to find the total to torque we have to get an angle first so let's just let this angle be theta and let's let the pivot point be here so we don't have to calculate the torque for these two forces. So for mg, you want the length to be perpendicular to the force to have any torque. So let's make a triangle here. Now this length is just one, right? So if you want to be perpendicular, it's just gonna be cosine. So it's gonna be co one cosine theta mg. And for tension as well, it will be sine to be perpendicular to this. And this length is two, so it'll just be plus two sine theta tension. And now for the normal force, can be the perpendicular is going to be cosine again, but this is in the opposite way, so it will be subtracting. And the length is going to be 4. So it's going to be minus 4 cosine theta normal A. Now we can just do the same for the right diagram as well. For, so we look at the force in the x direction, tension is going this way, and R x is going this way, right? For y direction, mb is going up and ry is going down. So let's write the statements. So for the right side, fx going to be equal to rx minus t, which is equal to zero. And, uh, in the y direction, it's just going to be equal to the normal force b minus ry and be equal to zero. Now we'll calculate the total torque as well. So following what we did with the left one, similarly we do this. So for tension, your perpendicular is going to be a cosine theta, and for NB, your perpendicular is going to be a sine theta. So you get your torque to be equal to 4 NB cosine theta minus 2 sine theta tension, which is equal to zero. Now what the question asks you to solve is tension. So want to find tension, if you want to find normal force A, also normal force B, also the reaction forces on the left side, right? So this Rx and Ry respectively. Okay, so here we have some unknowns. We have T unknown, we have effectively five equations in total because this one and this one are basically the same equation. So we can cross out one of them and just use these five to solve. But we need to know theta first before we can solve, right? So we can just simply look at this triangle and can figure out what theta is. So if we draw a vertical here, you can see that this side is going to be one, one meter, 
and the hypotenuse is going to be 4 meters. So we know cosine theta, let this be theta, it's just going to be equal to 1 over 4. So if we do arc cosine, you get theta to be equal to around 75.5. And now you have theta, you know mg, it's 5 equations and 5 variables you need to solve, and you can just solve for these. So for the sake of time, I won't solve the five equations manually as it will require a lot of time. So I'll just write down the answers. So tension is going to be 133 newtons approximately. Your normal force for A is going to be 429 newtons. Normal force for B is going to be 257 newtons. Your Rx is going to be 133 newtons. And your Ry is going to be 257 newtons. Now, if you want to verify these solutions, I strongly encourage you to do so. It's only five equations, and you can solve this at home to see that these answers are indeed correct.